Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jamal Kasuma. I have my training in England and held fellowships from the Royal College of uh, Surgeon of England, actually two fellowships, and have my special training in otology or ear disease. Uh, we created here in Dubai the Center of Excellence for the Hearing Solution. Uh, now, my, myself, now about the hospital, we have a team which I don't think many hospital has this team, which covered the whole subspeciality of the ear, nose, throat. For example, otology or ear disease, rhinology or the nose, rhinoplasty, plastic surgery of the nose, doing endoscopic sinus surgery and skull base, any problem with the skull base here, we resolve it. Uh, sleep, uh, snoring, sleep apnea, and we have all the experts on this field. If you follow the three episodes which we do, you realize that uh, Al Zahra Hospital, one of the best hospital in the UAE, who has highly training and very skilled surgeon in all aspects of ear surgery. We are we're lucky to have today with us Dr. Peter, who has uh, uh, subspecialized in nose, but particularly in snoring and sleep apnea. And uh, uh, he's going to talk about uh, the services he added to our hospital mm -hmm. and providing to our patients. And I'm aware, uh, according to his, his website, that his patients are so happy and giving high scoring. Please, Dr. Peter. Well, thank you so much. My name is Peter Baptista. I'm from Spain, and I've been working on sleep surgery for a very long time. I'm board certified by Spain and also by the European um, Research Academy, which we have to present usually an exam to be able to, to be part of it and to be board certified. And also we've been doing a lot of um, work in the past years, research and also doing a lot of surgery um, in Spain. And I moved here two years ago and therefore um, I think that one of the most important things is to actually do a sleep surgery in a right way. Um, most of the patients, when they come, they actually um, are seeking an easy way to solve their problem of sleep apnea. Unfortunately, there's not just one single um, um, way of solving the problem um, because sometimes patients do not tolerate the CPAP, which is something that it's given to most of the patients. And therefore, what we do we tend to do is we, we check the patient to see where the problem is, but not only while the patient is awake and also um, sitting, but we also check the patient while he's asleep. Um, so we put them to sleep uh, and with a medication, and while they're asleep, then we check to see where and how the airway is collapsing. This allows a very important view um, to know exactly where the problem is and therefore try to, to solve surgically the problem. Is this perfect? No, it might not be perfect, but it does give us a very good idea of, of trying to help the patient in an adequate way. And it could be compensated also with the other types of treatment. We're lucky to have you. And I think you introduced this service or this sort of procedure to the hospital when you came in two years ago, sleep endoscopy. We didn't, to be honest, we didn't have it before you, you come here. Then... Uh, as you said, the advantage of sleep endoscopy, you don't do the surgery arbitrarily. You know where is snoring or sleep coming, uh, coming from, and you plan your surgery according to that. Exactly. And to make CPAP, it's uh, clear. Would you s define CPAP in a simple way? CPAP, yes, it's continuous positive airway pressure, and it's, it's given to the patients. It, opens, it splints open the airway in a very simple way. Um, however, the patients have to use it every single night, and they have to lose, use it at least for at least four to six hours. That should be the right thing to use. Okay. I understand there is a new technique, which you're going to introduce it in the UAE. It hasn't done before, which is the implant. Is right. Hypoglossal nerve stimulation. Talk to us about the implant. Sure. Hypoglossal nerve stimulation is a very um, novel device where there is an implant that's placed underneath the tongue um, it's in contact with both nerves yeah. and this allows the movement of the tongue forward um, therefore opening the airway 
Um, it is true that it's it, it, you, patients have to be very well selected, but I, I'm sure that we'll have the possibility to implant and also, you know, give the advantage of this type of technique at this moment. Yeah, I'm sure you've done about 17, 18 cases in the no, Spain. No, I've done over 25. Over 25, 25 yeah. yes. Now, I don't think anyone in the UA, as far as I know, has done this uh, technique hopefully the hospital al zahra hospital will be the first to do so right. now we cover we cover the sleep apnea all these things which you snoring i'm sure you become famous of doing these things what about endoscopic sinus surgery the other field of your interest sure um well we're doing um endoscopic sinus surgery for for over i would say 25 years and also skull-based surgery. Um, this has anterior skull-based surgery. We've been working with the neurosurgeons in order to, to do tumors and um, CFS leaks and things like that that are very, very common. So it's not only a basic endoscopic sinus surgery, but also advanced sinus surgery that, that is done. And skull-based, anterior skull-based. Skull anterior skull-based, yeah, I mean, that's right. Yeah, and just for the audience, if you have a problem with the sinuses approaching the roof of the nose, which is very critical area, and not many surgeons uh, can do that, come to us. Dr. Peter is happy to help you. The hospital added a new machine, which is the navigation. You are expert in using the navigation. For recurrent cases, it's safer to use the navigation to get a best result and to prevent any side effect or complication safety, right. might happen. Safety. For the safety of patient, the hospital now, we have the machine, uh, with, share it with a neurosurgeon, but uh, I'm sure the, uh, the patient will be very happy with the result as they are with doing with you. Do you need to add anything? No, I think that's, that's, that will be it. I no. mean. For our Arabic audience, I'm going to summarize what he said. Uh, Dr. Peter, Khabir Jiddan, بمواضيع من القلائل الموجودين بالامارات خبير موضوع الشخير وتوقف التنفس الليلي واتجى لنا لهون هو اختصاصه الفرعي هو الشخير وتوقف التنفس ضاف شغله جديده كنت انا وقت كنت بانجلترا كنا نشتغلها اللي هي بسموها التنظير اثناء النوم بيعطوها ماده مثل تبع التنظير الهضمي شلون بيمروا عليها بينام نوم بسيط لمده خمس دقائق 10 دقائق بدخل الكاميرا بيشوف وين الار اذا بالشخير وين القرنه اللي عم تهز لانه بده يشخر المريض او توقف تنفس آآ آآ ليلي او انسدادي بيشوف وين المنطقه اللي عم تنسد وبالتالي بخطط الجراحه بناء على النتائج اللي يعني ما بيعمل ما في جراحه واحده لكل حالات الشخير لانه يختلف مكان الانسداد من شخص الى اخر فاذا الجراحه مدروسه لذلك نتائجها عاليه لانه هو بيعرف وين بناء على التنظير وبيسجل هالتنظير وبيشرحه للمريض شوف هاي المنطقه المسدوده عندك هاي اللي بدنا نحرر المنطقه وبالتالي نسبه نتائج عنده وبالتالي عندنا مشفى الزهره عاليه وبالتالي يعتبر من المراكز القليله جدا التي تدرس الحاله بشكل جيد يوضع الحل الجراحي المناسب وبالتالي بهمنا تنحل مشكله المريض ويكون سعيد وهابي ونوعيه الخدمه اللي قدمنا له اياها بتكون فيري هاي التخصص الثاني دقيق تبعه هو جراحه الجيوب التنظيريه خبرته عاليه جدا بهالمجال بسبين وانا راقبت له كثير حالات يعني حالاته كثير رائعه هي جراح رائع بالجيوب التنظيريه حتى قاعده الجمجمه اذا حاله مرض واصل لقاعده الجمجمه او في تسريب بالسائل الدماغي الشوكي من الدماغ للانف ممكن بالطريقه التنظيريه حل المشكله فاذا عم يغطي جانب مضيء اللي هو تخصصين جراح الجيوب التنظيريه قاعده الجمجمه الاماميه بتعرف في قاعده الجمجمه اماميه وجانبيه الجانبيه بيشتغلوا فيها جماعه الاذن اكثر جماعه الام بيشتغلوا بالاماميه آه والحمد لله يقول آه اني انا زميله ولا بشتغل مشفى الزهره عنده نتائج عاليه جدا ونحن فخورين انه هو معنا. وي فيري براود يو براود تو هاف يو وذ اس. ثانك يو. يو ار فيري اسينشال ممبر اوف اور تيم اوور كومبليت تيم. وي ار كفرينج اول ذا سب سبيشالتي ان اي تي. بي شو وين يو كمل زهره يا فول هاي ستاندرد سيرفيس باي اول اور تيم. ثانك يو دكتور بيتر. ثانك يو سو ماتش دكتور كمال. Thank you.